Testing, one, two, three. Warning, the following video may contain adult language and themes. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. If you have a problem with this, stop playing this video now. Five, four, three, two, one. You had your chance to back out. No turning back now. Anyway, okay. Let's get into it. I'm going to be talking about and doing a prediction of... Let's see, uh, Thomas Adamek versus something Glaskov. Something Glaskov. Cannot remember what it is. Let me look it up here. Just a second. Oh, well, I'll just have to keep going, because I can <laughs> I have no fuck. <laughs> anyway, it's it's Thomas Adamek, the Polish gremlin. Bucks Rick Thomas. Let's look up this character. He's very short. Very, 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 very short. No wonder they call him the gremlin. Do they call him the gremlin? I call him the gremlin, because he looks like a gremlin. Anyway, yes, versus Vykal Slav Glaskov. Polish. Poland versus Ukraine, I believe it is. Tomasz Adamek, who is six foot one and a half, who is a shorter version of Andrew Golota. Yes, the Polish, the Polish Goral. Lives in New Jersey. Pathetic. If you want authentic Polish food, go to New Jersey. Yeah, right. Fuck off. I'm a midget in the heavyweight division. I'm like the white Evander Holyfield. I am 37 years old and still trying to make a run at the fucking world titles. Is this a Polish accent? I don't know. It sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like the guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Anyway, yes, I am Polish. Polish, yes. I am... Uh, our country is known for punching people in the balls. Punching big black men in the big hanging bowls. Anyway, who do I think's gonna win this fight? Well, um, I think Idemic's gonna win this. Honestly, I'm going with Polish on this one. I'm going with the Poles on this one. The foul Poles. Because I think they deserve to win this one. I'm going with, you know, I'd say Tomas Ademek is old school compared to, at least compared to Glaskov. I think. I think Glaskov's better than people give him credit for. I mean, I th the most well-known fight I think people know him for is uh, his fight against Malik Scott, which was a draw. And I think a lot of people think, well, oh, Malik Scott should have won that one, you know. It is clear clear clearly for Malik Scott. I don't agree with that. I think that fight was a lot closer than people were willing to admit. I sort of see in that fight... Um, Glaskov as the, I, I, from what I remember, you know, Malik Scott was like the Apollo Creed, you know, dancing around and shit, you know, you know, and shit like that, and, uh, uh Glaskov was more like the rock, yeah, you know, plowing forward, you know, and, and putting the pressure on, you know, Malik Scott was like a slick boxer, but, like, I could see you giving it to, I could very well see have them giving it to Glaskov, you know, I could see them giving it to Glaskov. On another note, yeah, like I love the Rocky movies. I just thought that I'd put that out there. And you know, guilt. I'm gonna. I'm guilty of saying. I'm not. A, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that the reason why I like boxing so much is because I, I. I was introduced with the Rocky movies. You know, I love those movies. Yeah, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, Rocky. Adrian. Yeah, I love those movies. That's why I love boxing so much. You know, and those movies are such a joke compared to real life boxing. Though real life boxing is not like that. Real life boxing is like punch, punch grapple hold yawn punch punch grapple hold it's all that shit it's it's not action packed but anyway i'm getting off topic let's get back on topic shall we thomas ademic that's who i've got in this fight it's taking place in the united states so it's in neither of these guys backyard um who do i think's gonna win this fight well uh, i already said sorry <laughs> repeat myself and i think ademic's gonna win this fight i think he's gonna win probably by decision i'm going with ademic by decision in this um, thing that's got me a little suspicious, though, is that Adamic, Adamic, whatever, is no longer an attractive prospect. So, there could be some, a little bit of corruption in this fight. You know, it, it hurts us to say this, but, but boxing is very corrupt. But, I'm going with the, with the, with the sentimental one, in my opinion. Thomas Adamic, the Polish gremlin in this one. I think he will win. I'm on your side on this one, Poles. I think he's going to win this. I'll take, I think I'll take a Thomas Adamic in this. Also, I don't know if you heard re recently, but Shannon Briggs was contemplating a comeback. I think he's going to be fighting, uh, Kurtzman Manswell. Jesus Christ. He must have been, he must, <laughs> he must have heard that Vitaly was retiring. He's like, oh, Vitaly's retiring? I'm jumping back in. You know, I got a chance. <laughs> Shannon Briggs, oh my god. Seriously, are they going to prop him up on a stick? 
He's like dead. Is I thought Shannon Briggs was dead. I seriously thought that. He's so fucking old. Oh my god. What is he doing back in the ring? This better be a fucking joke. You know, this better be a fucking joke. Anyway, he's no longer relevant. Probably won't even do a prediction of that one. Uh, whatever. I'll take Briggs. <laughs> Kurtz and Manswell's terrible, but you never know. Uh, Briggs is terrible too. He's so worn out. Maybe, uh, hopefully he's gotten a little better, but... You know, block, man. Wouldn't hurt you to block. You know, a punch now and then, you know? <laughs> and not with your face, motherfucker. Anyway, um, yep, yeah, so that's my, uh, prediction video for Thomas Dimmick versus Vakokon Gravkov. Take it easy, boxing fans. Till next time, I'm probably gonna do another big fight coming up next month. It's also Aldonir Solis versus Tony the Tiger Thompson. Um, I'll do a prediction on that one, too. Um, yep. So, take it easy, boxing fans. Till next time, I'm out.